In other words, he made his career on her, not the other way around. So please, next time round, when you're writing nasty remarks about my playing, I'm flattered that you're even beginning to compare me with the greatest players of the world. I'm not in that category. There are geniuses. There are people who picked up the violin and they could play Paganini Caprices by the age of 8, 9, 10. Now things have shifted. In the Orient, in the Far East, in China and Japan, there are hundreds and hundreds of Wunderkinder, marvellous, marvellous nine-year-olds and ten-year-olds, playing Paganini Caprices, Wieniawski Caprices. It's absolutely amazing. You can see it on YouTube. They're great. Marvellous. However, there is no replacement for the tone of Chrysler. I want to know why. There is no replacement for Isaac Stern. I want to know why. There is no replacement for Milstein. No replacement for Ida Hendel. These are the issues that I wanted to open up. When I said for the wise, they will understand. Well, very few people did. Some did, in fairness, and they wrote to me and I've written back. Most of the time, people are saying this, I played out of tune. Here I played out of tune, I know. Here's the C-sharp Who cares? Listen, I said, to the purity of tone. Listen. For those people who can play, it is not easy to have that density of tone on an up bow at the top of the A string without scratching. This. This going to the C now. Near the bridge. It's not easy. That's what I was trying to show there. Not that I'm the greatest player in the world. Regarding the Chrysler Cadenza, anyone knows that to play as well as that is good enough playing for a teacher. That. That. Right. Look at the first video. It's not easy to do it. The blame is good enough to teach the violin. Any other things to get off my chest? What else do you want me to do? People say they want to see me play. Oh, I know one guy who wants me to play the horse staccato. I'm, I, I don't know whether I can do the staccato. I'm not in a good staccato. Mode. today. of the guy who wanted the horse staccato. I never learnt the piece because I don't like the piece. What were the other things? Ah! Bow changes. I wanted to show. This. If you want to learn a Bach fugue. A lot of people are doing a Bach fugue. This. Watch carefully. I'm changing bow between bows. This. Change. Down bow. Change. Up bow. The exercise is to do it in silence. Don't try doing the movies. Teachers make the mistake of doing that prematurely. Stop the bow, do the movements. The whole arm goes slightly backwards. The first finger rotates from the middle groove to the end groove, and the thumb is counterbalancing. So those chords, ideal. The down bow doesn't scratch because I've done the movement and the pressing movement before the bow. Watch, now I've done it. This will not scratch. Can you hear? It will if you try and do it during the bow stroke. No. Before. Before, then there's no scratching. Who asked about that? A lot of people are doing that Bach fugue. All the way through, it's a very good thing. Watch, between bows. Here. Here, before. No scratch, do you hear? No scratch. Can't scratch. If you're there, in that position, you try and do a down bow, you'll get the scratch. <laughs> what else do people want? Um, we've dealt with the fact there's no hold. We've dealt with the fact that change is done between bows. Um, the problem is to communicate to people what the essence of music is trying to communicate. 
how a person communicates with himself, how that self-communication mates with the communication of the composers of the piece of music, and then both are revealed to a listener who is going to hear the difference between that and this. <laughs> think that Isai played like that. Listen to Isai's playing. Listen to Isai playing the Mendelssohn Concerto. Listen to Isai playing his own mazurka. You see, he can't possibly have intended it to be like that. Do me a favour. I won't mention the name of it. It's on YouTube. Someone says it's the greatest thing. It's just not the greatest thing. It's no perfect. It's much better playing than mine. The technique is absolutely first class. But it's nowhere near French school. Nowhere near. Nowhere near what is intended. Next. What's the next question? Jack, swap for a sec, you're the interviewer now. You're doing a nice job, keep him in the centre of the screen. That's the zoom, if you heard it. Section. Don't know why I'm in a French mood today. A few people said that your tone was off. How do you answer that? He's done that, he's done that. Cesar Funk. He wrote this sonata as a wedding present for the Isais, and he arrived at the cathedral, I think it was in Brussels, and the ink was still wet on the page, and he apologised that it wasn't very good. One of the greatest works in the literature. <laughs> 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 